Hi, and welcome to this video where I'll be talking about a rather annoying little issue in QGIS, namely that you can have long startup periods where you have the splash screen and it's just ready, and it just waits and waits and waits, and waits. ready, 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 and then suddenly QGIS interface appears, or that you are trying, trying to browse your folders and then suddenly goes non responsive and you can wait minutes. This is a problem that the root cause at least of this is typically that you have some slow network drive or in my case my the organization I work for forces us to have some specific network drives that are accessible if you are on campus or if you have some VPN connection. If you don't have that VPN connection those network drives are not accessible, and that will typically lead to that this issue. So the solution is to ask QGIS not to look at these network drives, and typically, at least in our situation, they are administrative data things like that that I anyway don't want to use in QGIS. So let's look at how we can do this in QGIS. So in QGIS, we have our browser window and here we can see I have some network drives available. In order to record this video I have activated my VPN connection because otherwise I would have this erratical non-responsive problem to deal with all the time. So the trick is find your network drives that you're not using, right click on them, go and say hide from browser. Hide from browser, hide from browser. And in fact, you could also do it for your home drive if you don't want it to go and look there. And no feeling for it to go into my home drive. If you want to reestablish one, so if you, ah, I want, now I have my VPN warning, I want to access a network drive or new data, you can go and say, hidden items and then you can see your hidden items or and that I should say if you do something radically like um, hide from browser hide from browser suddenly they're all gone and now you do not have that um, show hidden elements the solution there is to go to settings options and down on the data source yeah you can go and see hidden paths and I can say okay I want to have my home drive my home or my that and I'll just have it appear or oh, maybe I just want to have my CV that appear once that's done these drives will shortly appear over in um, my browser window. So that's how to get your your responsive to this back into QGIS. So now I have my C GIS data and I can work with it. Um, so simple solution to a really annoying problem that you have these Irradical situations where QGIS goes into non responsive or startup time is minutes rather than seconds. So, I hope you, this is a little useful trick for you. Hope you like the video. See you in another video. Bye.